and we're back to the cathedral castle castle town build and today i decided i needed to just suck it up and build the walls and all of the walls surrounding the entire town um, it's actually a pretty big job and it's a big job for several reasons and you'll see why many of those reasons here in a bit Part of the reason I wanted to do this, though, was once I finish the walls, I will know how big my town is, which either will be a good thing or will depress me completely because I will realize how much work I have to do. Anyway, you see me here putting up yet another entrance. I have two entrances on this side. I noticed the wasteland as I was working out here. And I figured that there's going to be people coming from the wasteland, and they'll be different than the people who go through the gate we created earlier. So I decided I would go ahead and just create a second gate for our wasteland people. And here's where the wall starts to get interesting. I have to go up and over hills. Um, there's there's a huge pocket of water underneath, and I'm I end up creating an area that I'm going to use iron grates in there to to break it off and it's going to be kind of like a stream flowing out from underneath the the wall because you do see that in castle towns and then as I hit the corner I start to work on um, well first I have to bring a wall down and then I have to work on um, the corner tower and I do end up getting the corner tower wrong many many times because it's always more difficult to build a corner tower when the land the land isn't flat um, becomes difficult to see what you're doing or, or get a visual image so I have to struggle with getting that and I choose a I think it's a 15 tower for this corner as we pan up over the corner as I lay in the crenellations see I, I actually have to make this tower extra tall and you see me pushing it out with a cow who has escaped um, I have to make it extra tall because it actually has to be four separate entrances and exits. Uh, there's the bottom of the, the left wall that's going out of the camera frame, the top of it, and that's actually at a different elevation than the bottom of the wall going off the left of the camera frame now. So it becomes kind of one of those tricky things to make sure everything works the way I want it to. The other thing a uh, tough thing is dealing with steps when you're having to step up and down in these walls. You have to think, how am I going to put in the, the steps for the soldiers to get up and down without constricting the soldiers who are walking on the inside of this narrow, narrow little wall. I had to, I had to kind of think about what I was going to do about this overlap here, or this overhang, and I decided a tower just hanging off into space. I'm going to do some work to make it look less like it's hanging in space, um, but it is still sort of going to hang there in space. And then building up our wall to, to make it look like it's not floating, which it still looks like it's floating to me, um, and I'm going to have to go back and sort of fix that. And I decided to go over the top like this because it just made more sense, and I didn't want to go any farther up into the hills because it was going to make the town even bigger than it needed to be. You see me here working on the main entrance, and this is going to be huge, um, or was going to be huge. I kind of struggled with circles again. I had to go get my circle template. I chose a, um, I think it's a 19 for my circle here. Um, a pretty big circle, and I wanted this big circle here because this is where most everybody's going to enter and it also kind of sets off our cathedral in the background, as well as our giant tree that we have within town. And I start working on its twin tower, and then we'll have to bridge the towers together and create a nice glorified entrance, a nice beautiful entrance. And I have uh, some things I'm going to do with some of these entrances. Um, I'm not going to be able to do them on screen because it involves some meticulous little finagling of things, but when this world gets released out to you guys, you'll be able to play around with things. I'll, I'll show the end result. I'll, I'll do that much. Now here I'm planning out the rest of the wall. 
And this wall gets extremely big. This this town is extremely big. And when I finished it, I realized just how big it really was. Um, and it it does it does kind of scare one to think that I have to fill it all in with buildings. As we come down in this area, this is where we're going to have some docks and some some other things like that. So I built a little tower off to the side there and another sister tower. They're going to sort of guard, guard the entrances to the to the dock area. Now one thing about this is a lot of times you don't see the walls go full uh, walkway-ish between these kind of things. If you look at some old uh, Spanish forts, sometimes the walls are just, just thick enough to be a wall. They're not thick enough to have any battlements on them. So I went with that here. You think if somebody's attacking from that area, they're going to have two towers shooting at them. They're not going to be able to do much. And then I thought about it and I decided, well, I kind of need some extra towers. So I went off to this little peninsula here and I decided I would build some extra towers and create a little a little lookout area and maybe where our our harbor pilot might live. Just me kind of playing around trying to decide how I'm gonna decorate the area. And I gave up and I, I do come back to it off screen. Here I am working again on what's going to be the poor district. Um, this area is going to have where all the poor live, all the industry is, things like that. So I wasn't really concerned too much about um, cutting them off from a view, because who cares, really. I also initially go with a, a full battlement walkway thing the whole way, and then I decide I didn't like that, and I'm going to go with a single wall with a little abutment. Again, this is the poor district. I don't care too much. Um, these trees start to drive me crazy. You'll see me finally uh, lose my temper with the trees here in a moment. And because uh, they wouldn't go away fast enough, so I lit them on fire. Um, it, it sort of worked, at least initially. <laughs> and then I ran another wall, just as a guide wall, to try to, to sort out where this, this entrance is going to be over here in the poor district. And I put it in the wrong spot. Um, and it's actually still in the wrong spot. We have to move it again. Because as I bring this out, I realize, oh darn, I've got it sitting right on the water, and I didn't want it there. And then I go across this little entrance and try to map out a, a circle, screw it up, and try again. And I think I went with a 15, or maybe it was a 16, or a 17. Here I am moving that tower again because I screwed it up. I'm just bringing it up to height. Now this this tower that I'm building on right now is going to guard the entrance to this river that leads up towards our big castle. So I wanted this this entrance to be accessible for somebody on a small boat, but not accessible for a big big warship. You know, maybe a barge could get through there, but that's about it. Now I've decided that this area that I'm working on over here is going to be where our nobility will stay. Now the rich are going to stay kind of in the upper area around the cathedral, but the nobility, they're going to want to be kind of separated from, from the hustle and bustle of town. So this is where I'm going to build some nobility. You see me running a big spike up into the air to tell me that that is going to be my perfect location for connecting back into my town. And I do build another big tower over there. You can't see me because I'm down in a hole that I found, unfortunately. And I do light another tree on fire and in the process actually lit a sheep on fire as well. Um, and he died, sadly. Um, his, his wool will be used for something else. He wasn't smart enough to jump in the water that I threw at him, but whatever. And I built another large tower there, and then I'm going to start running the, the wall out and bringing it straight across. One thing I neglected to do is create a separate exit for the nobility. Because we have an exit from the castle, 
onto this plateau. I wanted to create a separate exit for the nobility so that they could maybe take the, the back road into the castle. And I do do that later. See me creating yet another bridged wall here. And I realized it was a little bit like a bridge too far, so I had to build some support units. Make it nice and thick, and then some upside down stairs to help it out. And then another big tower that I screwed up almost immediately. And this is just going to be one of the, the last towers that we're going to work on. See me just kind of cleaning things up and trying to, to sort things out. We won't get all of this crenellated during this episode, but we're going to get as far as we can. See me cleaning this up so I can get the last bit of the wall and hook it into our original, our original gatehouse. So here we are flying over our completed wall. Well, not completed wall. We haven't crenellated a lot of things, and uh, the world has actually gotten so big, or not the world, but the, the castle has actually gotten so big that I now, you'll, you'll actually see me running around um, because I have to load the chunks for the camera. It's so big. And you'll see we have this nice climb up over this hill into a nice swooping drop down into our main entrance with the big giant towers. I did a lot of work off screen, um, partially just to get things to this state. Um, and I'm going to finish the crenellations off screen. I'll probably put most of the tower roofs on off screen. I'll leave a couple of tower roofs because they're always interesting to do on screen. I really love the battlement that I've created off across the water there. Looks like you could mount a couple cannons on there and, and immediately roll it into the, the Victorian era. As we come over to the, the wall around our, the poor sector of town. And the bridge over the, the river where the barges can sail up and deliver their goods to, to the castle. And then we have the where the royalty is going to be. It's not a big area, but I don't presume there's going to be a lot of royals. You see chunks unloading there. And then we have this nice uh, bridge over towards our last tower that hasn't even been completed yet. As we come right back to the main entrance to our grand castle. With those derpy looking trees. I didn't, re I didn't realize I have derpy trees in there. So we have a huge, huge castle wall. Now we just have to fill it in. 